Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man series, and um, this is actually episode 30, so pretty cool, uh, all the way up to 30 episodes now, uh, and I'm going to be kicking this one off with a hard clue scroll. This hard and elite clue are still the ones I got from Celestial Dragons on my way to Nine Nine Slayer that I didn't do because it was over the Slayer weekend and I didn't want to waste my time doing clue scrolls so I just grinded Slayer straight up and kept the clues in my bank but it is now the clue scroll weekend and I've heard from my clan that Iron Man are actually allowed to use the festive boxes which you do receive from clues over this weekend um, if we click here you get a um, a festive box containing festive food that also has a chance to contain some of these items so we're gonna see what it's like I also have the elite but um, I kind of want to just do this right now because I'm kind of impatient and I want to see what the rewards are like and uh, elites take a while to do. So I am going to do the elite, but I wanted to do this hard clue first. Um, you also get one free clue per day. I would get a hard clue on this account, which is unfortunate. Elites are 2,500 and one for some reason, plus total levels, which is pretty intense. Um, unfortunately, I do not have that, but... Yeah, we are going to go ahead and open this. Let's see what we get. So you get the festive box. I guess I'm going to re-roll this, though, because the regular reward is pretty bad. And I think I get, yeah, you get the festive box regardless. The re-roll is still pretty bad. 140 hard treasure trails completed, but that reward is actually pretty bad. Um, the festive box is right here, so we're going to open it. And 12 inventory spaces? Holy shit. How the heck does it have 12 things in it? I guess it says there's going to be fo uh, food items in there, so I guess those could could cause that. Um, but yeah, I have been doing Gano Beasts. I haven't done too many of them. Uh, almost 98 magic, which is pretty cool, but uh, I haven't done too much of them yet. If I was to go to the bank, I have 10,000 Gano Flakes so far. Um, which is okay, uh, you know. The seeds there are really nice. Um, so those are getting up there pretty decently. But um, I've been thinking about liquidating my bank, honestly, just alking all of this stuff. But I'm not sure if I want to do it yet or not. I kind of just want to get the, like, 260k Gano Flakes, and then I'll still have all this money as backup, as well as if I want to use it for getting my summoning up, I can do so. So it, I kind of just want to do the Gano Flakes straight up for 95 prayer instead of alking my stuff in my bank, but we'll have to see how motivated I can stay while doing Gano Beasts. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this box up. And what? Is this literally all I got? Two mince pies? What the hell is that? That is garbage. <laughs> how the fuck? That is so bad. I thought there was a, I thought there was going to be like a guaranteed like VIP tickets or something. I guess it says it has a chance to contain them items. That is that is incredibly disappointing. I was I was expecting something more than that, but oh well. I guess we'll go do this elite clue and I will see you guys for the reward from that. Hopefully it ends up being better than uh, the one we just opened, but uh, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Heading off to the Lumberage Swamp. So fortunately this was probably one of the easiest elite clues I've ever done. I actually didn't have to go anywhere that was too hard and all the arrow clues were quick and easy to find, so that was nice. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see what we get for this reward. Uh, oh my god, dude. A fucking Guthix bow. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is... That's a rare item. It's definitely one of the rarer ones. Whoa! Whoops. Was watching Netflix right there. And... Steam is down. That... Has, Steam has actually been down for longer than I've ever seen Steam go down before. Um... In, in like in the history of me using it so I, I think there might be a serious issue here we definitely should call somebody but I got this on my I got a Sarah Doman bow on my main account when I was doing my or no it wasn't during my 50 clue scrolls for strength no actually it was 
just randomly. I think I got it from God Wars, but um, those are a one in forty one in one forty nine chance to get any God bow, or a one in four hundred and forty six chance for like to get a specific bow. So that kind of sucks. Um, obviously, it is not as rare as dies or anything. A die is still. Uh, the, the best chance of getting a die is the Barrow's die, which is 1 in 1,678. And, um, yeah, that is that. Is that. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't actually say the chance for a blood die. It has a chance for all the other dies, but not a blood die. And the worst chance is a third age die, which is 1 in 10.2k. So, not too upsetting, but still kind of moderately upsetting. But, you know, it's all my Iron Man. It's not really matter. Uh, I guess it's a cool item for my Treasure Trails tab. And we got another one of these festive boxes, so hopefully this one ends up being better because the first one was literally two pieces of mediocre food. Let's see. <laughs> what? Well, these are even worse. Well, I, I I'd have to say I am seriously disappointed in what I was hoping for from these uh, clue box, festive boxes things. Uh, and I was actually considering doing some clues on this account just because uh, those festive boxes might be nice but yeah that is clearly not the case so I guess I'm just gonna not do that and um, move on I might go do clues on my main account though because I could head back to Hellhounds and grind for 80 attack on there because I would like to get that in order to do Vindicta uh, as well as learn it like it would be nice to be able to do it on my main first to learn it before going on my Iron Man which I would like to go there soon uh, once I, you know, probably after, not until after I finish my prayer, which is going to be a while, uh, especially if I don't decide to liquidate my bank, which I am trying to avoid, although I really want to. I just don't want, I, I want to have money for summoning, which I would love to get to 96. I think I have enough charms for that. I honestly don't know how much charms you need these days for summoning, but I'm pretty sure I would have plenty enough for that. And, um... Hopefully this, all this stuff would be enough money to do that, but I'm not sure if it would or not. Um, but if I get that, then I'll pretty much have all the highest P high PVM stats besides Herblore. And after doing, uh, once I can actually finish Sliske's endgame, I will probably be able to get overloads, honestly, with this amount of herbs. Um, and, and I, all I really need is 91 herb lore, and I have to get, I think, 7700 to do Grenwell spikes. But all I really need after completing that quest is about 1 mil more XP, and I am almost positive that the herbs in my bank could get me 1 mil XP, especially if I did land to dimes into anti-fires, into super anti-fires. But I would kind of not want to do all my land to dimes that way because you need them for other potions as well, but... Might be something I have to calc out pretty intensively, but yeah, gonna go um, back to Glacors, I guess. Uh, not Glacors, what the hell? Uh, Ganodermic Beasts, I guess. So uh, yeah, that is uh, that's about it for this, and I will see you guys for. Wait, hold on. I was just reading this, and apparently you can get a large prismatic fallen star from a clue and that's on the mega rare table so if you get that it was it's actually a one in three K chance so it's more rare it's about the same rarity as a shadow die and more rare than a barrel's die so if you get a large prismatic fallen star from your clue scroll that's basically when you should quit the game or a starved ancient effigy although it doesn't si oh starved ancient effigy is only one in 728 but still it's on that mega rare table so that would kind of suck but um yeah Gonna go ahead and end this off now, you guys. Hope you're all enjoying this beginning clip for the video. Very disappointed in the clue scrolls, but um, yeah, at least I got to test them out and get those two clues out of my bank from Slayer. All right, guys. See you for the next clip.
Hey guys, we are back on the Iron Man here, and it has been a hot minute since I recorded a clip for this account and for this video, and it has been like a month, over a month even, since I uploaded the last episode. So I do apologize for all of that, but um, I have been a little bit busy. As I said, I think in some of my old, my, my previous um, main account videos, I have really, I was really sick for a period of time. Um, and I've just been playing on my main account a little bit more um, than Iron Man. I have been AFKing on here a small amount. Uh, I'm 91 crafting now, as well as uh, 66 rune crafting. I got six rune crafting levels, which was nice to uh, to achieve because that means I can go to the top floor of rune span now. I am wood cutting on my main account here, just doing Ivy, you know, just AFKing, doing whatever on there because I'm mainly focusing on this account. Uh, I know my goal for this video was 95 prayer, and I'm going to try and maintain that goal. Um, but I'm not going to be doing it at Ganodermix because I don't really want to continue do grinding those because, uh, I don't know, they're not the most fun thing. I don't really like camping them for some reason. Just like, even though I get like a decent amount of seeds and stuff and it is decent money, I just don't really enjoy grinding them as much as I was hoping I would. Um, if I think I can quick chat it here. Uh, I've killed a little over a thousand of them, and I've got, I think, around 23 or 24,000 flakes in the bank, so nowhere near what I would actually need for the amount of money for my prayer. But I am doing Hunter, as you can see here, and I think in my last video uh, I was 60-something, 60 65 maybe, Hunter. And right now I am currently 75, about to get 76. And the reason I'm doing this is um, 76 Hunter is one of the requirements for a quest. And that quest is not this one, but the other one, the Lord of Vampirium. It requires 76 Hunter. And this was one of my biggest uh, skill requirements that I needed to get out of the way for Quest Cape. I think the only other ones are 76 Fire Making, which is easy. I could get that in like an hour, not an hour, a couple hours. Uh, I easily have the logs in my bank though, which is the main thing. Um, and 70 thieving, which is just three levels that I would have to just go bang out and take like no time at all really, just be annoying. I don't like thieving that much until you can get to the more AFK style methods. Um, but yeah, 76 Hunter was one of my biggest milestones and away from getting quest cape. As well as of course, I, I still need to get the gear I'm going to need for Sliske's endgame, which is probably going to take longer than most of the other things, but I want to try to get anima core armor, and that will hopefully be enough for um, for Sliske's end game. But obviously, that requires being able to do God Wars Dungeon Two, and I don't really think I can do it yet. I I want to camp a little bit more of Zami God Wars um, and try and get myself at least the subjugation top there, and then I'll maybe give it a shot. I'm not sure if there's any other better armor I could go for. Um, I don't think there is any better magic. There's no like level 75 and then the level 80 is either Nex armor or Anima Core and I can definitely not going to be able to do Nex. Um, the only other way I could really get a better s armor set for doing Sliske's Endgame is waiting until I have my Ports armor, which is a pretty long ways away. I am currently in the Jade region. Um, I mentioned that I think in one of my main uh, main progress videos, but I don't know if I ever talked about it in one of the clips for this Hardcore Iron Man progress, but yeah, I am uh, I am currently in the Jade region. I'm only like 5% of the way through there. I, I just recently got there, so um, I'm not very far through getting through that, but I am starting to get a decent amount of trade goods, uh, but unfortunately I don't get Chi at all. Uh, I get lacquer and I get plate because I have 90 fishing and I have 90 dungeoneering. Uh, and the dungeoneering guy gives lacquer, so that's, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I, I think that's why he uh, he gives it. But um, the, I also have the slayer one, which gives the stupid spices, which I have a decent amount of those, but I don't have the workshop or whatever that you need to make them. And we're about to get this level, so... 
that would be very nice because that is what I'm going to be doing as the Lord of Vampirium. And I didn't really even say why I want to do it yet, but I'll get to that. But yeah, so those are basically the only ways of me getting better armor. Um, I just, I'm interested to see if I am or am not going to be able to do, um, preferably Vindicta. That's probably the one I would want to do the most. The Definitely not Hellweir. I would definitely not want to do that. Hellweir is probably the hardest one. Uh, I don't think I'd really want to do Greg either, plus Melee is better for Greg, and Melee is pretty much also better for the Twin Furies, I'm pretty sure. I have not, the only God of War's Dungeon 2 boss I've ever even killed in my life is Hellweir on my main account, um, so I don't really know how you do them, but I know Halberd at Twin Furies is really good because you can hit them both. Uh, I don't know if you need a Halberd or not, but I know just Melee in general is better for being able to hit them both with your... AoE abilities like uh, Quake and Whirlwind and Cleave. Um, I guess Cleave's not really an AoE, but um, but yeah, that is pretty much why I would probably mostly want to do Vindicta because I think Mage is a decent option for Vindicta, and Mage is by far my best uh, setup that I have. And we got our level 76 Hunter here, so that's nice. Pretty decent bit of grinding for this. I did. Uh, salamanders red salamanders until I got the level for these things which I don't even think I don't remember I think it was like 68 or 9 was the level for these guys and um, did those till 76 and then only one more level and I can catch Grenwalls um, but you see there's the quest message um, but yeah I can soon catch Grenwalls which is what I will pretty much do uh, all the way to 99 I think um, because I think if you do some of the elf tasks that you can get uh, the ability to not need to use Paw Yami to catch them, and uh, that'll be nice. And then I'll have a ton of those things, uh, the Grenwall spikes for making overloads and stuff. Um, I'm just going to quickly enter my authenticator pin here. I don't think it matters if people see this, but I am just going to scoot it up so it's not visible there, uh, just to be safe. And camping on that ivy. I did complete the Deathbeard event thing on both my accounts, which was nice. But, um, yeah, I think I have them in here. Yeah, I now have a bunch of these things. Don't know when I'm going to use them or whatever, but, uh, yeah, that is what I did all the way up. And then once I get 77, I can catch Grenwalls. Um, but, yeah, where are my Gano Flakes? They're right there. 24k Gano Flakes, but... So yeah, that's my idea for the gear. Uh, I'll go to my port really quick. Oh yeah, I also bought the Legendary Jacket Trades with my loyalty points from the Premier Club. Um, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, you guys can see I have 17 play and 12 lacquer. I mean, it's not a ton, but it's it's slowly getting up there. And I have 117 spices. Um, and I am in the Jade region, 6% of the way. And uh, that's basically my progress in there so far but uh, I don't actually have any chi and I don't think I have any way of getting any because I um, do not have my rune crafting up to 90 and that is kind of what I was gonna try and slowly go for while I was AFKing and doing Slayer on my main account I was gonna get um, rune crafting up to the uh, the level I need which is like I'm pretty sure you need 90 rune crafting uh, I'm going to try and re well, I, I don't really feel like doing this on camera, but I just want to finish talking about what I had to say, because I do have to actually run to class pretty soon. Anyways, I do want to try and slowly go for 90 runecrafting to unlock the whoever the adventurer is who would eventually get chi for me, and I think you actually need level 90 runecrafting to even make the armor once you have the chi, so I will obviously need that anyways, and I'll, I think you need like 90, I have the 90 crafting I think for the range. Um, the Death Lotus, and then you need 90 smithing for Tetsu, so yeah, that is that. Um, whoops. I don't even, uh, I don't know which one I'm focusing on. Am I not? I think I switched it to Sea Singer, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, oh, Jesus, I'm really screwing up here. Uh, where is it? I think it's this one. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, I didn't. I do want to switch it to Magic, because I want to go for the Sea Singers mainly next. Um, but yeah, that's basically the only other way of me getting the the better armor. So if I can't do God Wars Dungeon 2 with the level 70 armor that I'm going to get from Zanny if I, once I get the top, the garb of subjugation, if I can't do um, 
God Wars Dungeon 2 with that armor, I'm just going to have to wait it out and to do other things until I end up getting my ports armor. So if that's the case, I'll definitely... Um, I'll definitely just have to go and go for some skilling 99s and stuff like that while I wait and do ports as often as I can. But um, basically, after all that rambling, I'm going to now tell you the whole reason I was going for the, uh, the 76 Hunter because I do not, like I said, I don't really want to do Gano Beasts and I've decided I'm going to do the Lord of Imperium. I think it's just that, but if I have to do River of Blood as well, I will. Uh, in order to use the Sun Spear on, I think it's Vire Lords that you kill, and you use the Sun Spear on them to get Prayer XP, and it's around 100k Prayer XP an hour or something like that, so I'm probably just going to camp that and get 95 Prayer that way, if that is preferable to me to doing Ganos. Um, if not, then I'll probably do a mix of the two, maybe. But I just wanted to get this 76 Hunter out the way and make a clip for it and just talk about my ideas because uh, obviously I do eventually want to get the quest cape and all that and uh, getting my Hunter up in general was not bad because it does give me the possibility to hunt Grenwalls soon for overloads. So yeah, just wanted to make a little update clip for you guys on that and uh, I'm going to head off to class now and probably head off and do the quest for the next clip. See you guys then. All right, guys, we're about to finish up the quest, the Lord of Vampirium here. Um, just in the final cutscene where uh, Vanescula is mocking her dead brother. A little bit rude, but basically just showing the last few things. And the mysterious prisoner is, is going to escape from here. I don't know who it was, though. I actually don't know much about the following quests from this... Um, after this, the River of Blood, but I am interested in doing it because this is one of the cooler storylines I feel in the game, this one, and of course the Majorat are one of the better ones, but we have completed it. Two quest points, um, 225k Herbler XP basically with this Tome of XP, which is really nice. Um, you need level 75 or above, which is not too bad, um, and then 75k Construction. 50k Slayer and Hunter, Sun Spear, House Draken Outfit, Draken's Wings, Cosmetic Override, and the ability to create new blister weapons. So yeah, pretty big quest there. It was uh, not too hard. Most of the stuff was pretty easy, um, and it was kind of weird in that you didn't actually get to bring your own food. You were provided food in the quest, and the final boss fight according to the wiki said if you died even on Hardcore Iron Man mode it did not count as a death. So that was some security I had, but I didn't actually end up dying, so there was no issue there. 87 Herblor here, very, very nice. Hitting a pretty sweet level Super Adrenaline Potions. I've never even heard of that. I wonder what those do. Huh. Either way, um, that is very nice to hit. Uh, I think one more level until we can make our first Extreme Potion, the Extreme Attacks which are right here and that is going to be very nice looking forward to getting that level uh, I'll go ahead and throw the last edition in there and that is 330k off just past 4 mil Herblor XP which is awesome and we also now have the Sun Spear which is basically the whole reason I did the quest uh, it's only one handed? what? oh jeez I thought it was wait what? How is a spear not a two-handed weapon? Well, regardless, this is how I'm going to train my prayer. At least I'm going to try it because it will automatically burn Virewatch corpses when you kill the Vire Lords and Ladies in uh, Darkmire. So I'm going to give this a try, see if it's good for training my prayer. And I'll probably do a mixture of this and um, Ganos as well and Heffen to try and get. 99 prayer so we'll see how that goes um, and how good the XP actually ends up being but um yeah that's basically it for the quest I thought it was quite a decent one um, not the best but definitely an, an interesting one for the vampire storyline I, I liked branches of Darkmire better um, but yeah I now I think can have all the quests done for River of Blood, except I just need to get 76 fire making, so 
I'll probably do that in the near future because I think that's a pretty good quest for rewards as well, but I'm not sure. I'm going to go check really quick. I mean, it has some high-ass requirements, so it's definitely not going to be any slouch in terms of the difficulty, I'm sure. Uh, and yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's basically I get another 225k herbal XP from the tome plus 75k herbal XP from the ward itself. That's pretty sweet. That would be um, 300k more herbal ore, so it would basically get me another level. Um, and that is basically it. You can make uh, blood essences after that quest as well. Um, and your sun spear can be upgraded as well to level 78, which would be kind of good. But um, yeah, that's basically it for this. I guess I'm going to get into training some prayer now, and I'll probably be back when I when I've done some and to let you guys know how it's going and maybe with some level ups as well because I'm about to get on the grind for 95. Okay guys just doing another little update clip here I am at the rune spin and uh, I'm about to be getting 70 rune crafting so I like to show off the like every 10 levels usually if I if I remember to so I am about to get 70 here just uh few more if, uh, if as long as this node lasts long enough. I didn't do it for Hunter, which I kind of forgot, but I did want to just do that as a as a clip for uh, the level up to 76, which is what I needed for the quest, so I guess that kind of makes sense that I didn't show it. And unfortunately, our node died on us before we could get the level up, which stinks, but I guess we'll just use the Chaos S Hound. That's pretty much what I've been doing because I when I'm in Rune Spin, I'm super lazy. And I don't like to jump around the islands a lot, so I just sort of sit on this one at the moment while I'm at the current level I am and just use the chaos and sound unless I see a node that I would like to siphon from. It's still pretty good XP. I'm also doing divination on my main account down here. Um, and it also helps me keep my essence up as well. I don't know. I don't really care too much about being super efficient. Either way, I get faster XP and it's AFK. And, um, yeah, pretty nice. The reason, again, that I'm doing rune crafting is, of course, because I want to get my total up, first of all, and it's just like it's a nice AFK, easy skill that I had that was really low and easy to get up from where it was. Uh, and also because I want to get 90 before too long so I can start collecting chi in my ports as well as be able to make the Sea Singer armor when I do get enough Chi for it. So that is basically the reason I've been doing quite a bit of rune crafting. I've done a lot, a little bit more of Vire Watches and Ganos. I don't really like the Vires all that much to be honest because I do have to use quite a bit of Monkfish and um, it's a little less AFKable than um, than doing Ganos with my setup, so that's kind of not so fun. But I did do a bit more Ganos. I have 30k flakes or so now, and I'm only 340k off of 99 magic, so probably will have a clip for that quite soon. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting a trimmed skill cape uh, for you know a nice another 99 to trim my Slayer, which will be nice. I do have um, oh, and there is 70 rune crafting. Not only is that a nice little round level, but I can now start gathering the rune ethereal fragments so I can eventually get that outfit which will be very nice. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Three or five runes per essence if I do want to give or craft those. Um, but yeah, that's another 70 stat all done away with. And I think, yeah, the only skill I have that's below 70 is thieving at 67. I'm not counting invention. Um, because that's kind of, uh, I mean, I don't have it unlocked yet, and I don't know, I just sort of don't really count that in, in, in the skills at the moment because I don't have it unlocked, but that's pretty sweet. I'll probably end up getting my thieving up in the near future anyways because I want to get to the elves because they have such good stuff for Iron Man, so probably will have 70 plus all regular skills very soon. I'm looking forward to that, but yeah, I just thought I'd show this off getting... 70 rune crafting, gotten like I think 10 levels in this since the last video, which is nice. Definitely getting my total up there, almost 2200. Pretty sweet. And I'm going to keep pushing towards uh, getting 90 rune crafting eventually for ports, but obviously I do only do this when I want to AFK and I tend to uh, 
try to do Gano's more often than not when I am online. So probably going to be heading back to Gano's rather soon, and I will be showing you guys 99 Magic when I do end up getting that, which uh, should be pretty sweet. So yeah, see you guys in the next clip. Just about to get another kind of significant level that I wanted to show off, as well as talk about a few of the other things I plan on doing. Uh, about to get 80 rune crafting here, 3,000 XP off, so little couple, uh, you know, S sounds or nodes to go or whatever, but pretty significant level to be reaching. It's another 80 plus stat, which I have very few stats bef that are below 80 at the moment, which I didn't even realize. It's just uh, smithing, thieving, fire making, farming, hunter, and summoning besides rune crafting, which I'm about to get, and of course invention, but that doesn't really count at the moment. Um, but yeah, I have not really been doing much besides just the rune crafting on this account. Um, I've also done the, uh, the Valentine's event that's been out every day when I can, so I'm hoping to unlock all the items. I don't know how long it's going on for though, or if I'm going to be able to. I got the loot beam first because that's the thing I wanted the most. However, it is kind of small and not really the greatest it's kind of hard to see actually the item that you even got it on, but still, maybe they'll improve it and make it a little bigger in the future, but I've also done a little bit of prayer at Heffen. Um, during the Heffen hour, I got 85 prayer as well as almost 86, which was nice, and when I got 79 runecraft, I also hit 2200 total level, which was pretty sweet as well. Um, but that's basically all I've really been focusing on. I think I got a farming level since the last clip, I'm probably going to be going on a tree run here after I finish this, but I think I'm going to take a break once I hit 80 rune crafting here. Uh, for one, because I can um, use the rune ethereal shards that I've gathered so far, which is 25k of them, to make some of the outfit pieces, and um, that'll give me better rune crafting XP, so that uh, that's one reason basically once you hit 80 you can make them with invention but you need 22 invention to make them so I can't do that yet um, all I need to really do is get two smithing levels and then I can I can easily probably get 22 invention pretty quickly because uh, I have started on my main account and I kinda understand how it works now and stuff so shouldn't be too much of an issue I just uh, one thing I really need to unlock for invention is rings of slaying because those are like insanely good to disassemble. Um, but I think I easily have enough points to do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably going to go and actually try and get 80 smithing next. So I can actually make the rune ethereal armor in case I ever want to come back to runecrafting and continue. Because I really just want to get it to 90 for the ports armor. Um, and that's my current like mini goal inside this episode is to get that. Um, of course my main goal is 95 prayer, but it's still taking me a while to it's kind of hard to keep motivated to camp ganos for a long time so this room crafting has been a nice break getting a nice 20 levels out the way and um, I'm gonna try and get 99 magic in this episode as well because I'm easily gonna be able to get that well while at ganos because they are really actually pretty good magic XP and then I can switch to defense as well which will be nice to get up and um, Obviously I don't have any armor that I'm going to be using anytime soon that's higher defense, but should just help to get hit less at certain things like QBD especially because get hit a lot there and it's kind of a pain, but we are about to hit this level up here once we get one more big XP drop. And there it is, 80 rune crafting, very nice. Gotten 20 levels in this episode, which was pretty sweet. And I can now create the rune ethereal outfit pieces. Oh, it's only 21 invention, well still. Um, still need to get my invention up, um, but yeah, basically, uh, the problem at the moment is I don't have a great way of training smithing. What I really need to get is super heat form, which is, I don't know what level it is. Um, oh Jesus, wait, did I pass it? Oh, 91 prayer. So I'm going to try and do my half an hour for prayer whenever it shows up. Um, and I think I might end up just liquidating my Slayer tab in the end because um, if I need the money. But um, I'm not going to build up my flakes to the level I need it anymore. I'm just going to alk them that I have right now just to get going with some of the uh, some of the prayer. So 
I'll try and keep an eye out for voice of oh, come on. I'll try and keep an eye out for voice of Saren so I can do uh so I can do that whenever it comes up. And that should help me out a lot in uh slowly getting my prayer to ninety five. And that'll just be such a nice goal to hit. And it'll open up a lot more bossing opportunities for me. Probably will go camp some Zami once I do end up getting it. Soul split and um should be able to camp there for quite a while and get some items. You know, if I get a lot of duplicates, I can use them for invention. And if I, once I eventually get the full subjugation set, I can start thinking about God Wars Dungeon 2 for more gear upgrades, which I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that 80 rune crafting at the moment. Pretty sweet level uh, to hit. It was one of my lowest skills beforehand, and now I've gotten it up to a decent level. Um, here's my current port situation. I've got a decent amount of plate and lacquer as well as a couple of the other resources, um, some spices and still in the jade region 32% of the way to stainless steel so definitely getting there um, and I've also gotten a couple of the scrolls. I gotten, I switched over to the sea singer because that's what I mainly want at the moment. Um, I've gotten two of the four pieces of the helm. I think I failed one actually which sucks but I do those whenever I get them but um, yeah Probably going to try and go do some prayer soon. I'm going to go uh, see what the uh, what the hour is at the moment. And if it's not Heffin, I'll probably head off to Gano's for a little while while I do stuff on my main account as well. All right, guys. See you in the next clip. So I actually ended up looking in my bank for some smithing experience just to see how much I had. And I took out all my coal to see how much adamant I could actually make at the Artisan's Workshop with it. And it turns out 840 adamant takes this much coal, which is like 4 or 5 less than I actually had. I think it was like, uh, I had like 50, 44. And I can, uh, I can make 840 adamant ingot eyes with that. And that actually ends up giving you, uh, that's going to end up giving me 233k XP. And then I also have all of these bars, uh, the adamant bars mainly are what I'm going to be using. And that will be more than enough to get me 80 smithing. So I can actually just get it outright before I get my prayer for superheat form. So I'm going to do that just so I can unlock invention and start working on it. As well as get my, um, get my... Uh, my rune ethereal armor in case I ever want to continue camping at the uh, rune spin for 90 rune crafting. So yeah, I'm going to get to smithing. Nice AFK. And I will see you guys when I end up getting 80. Okay guys, so we are finally uh, going to be unlocking invention on my hardcore Iron Man. Uh, I probably should have gotten this like a while ago. But I was just too lazy to get my smithing up in any other way than like actually training it. I didn't really want to like go and get materials for it and all these materials for these Addy bars and all the Addy ores and coal built up in my bank from doing Slayer. So I have finally been able to get 80 smithing and I can now make a Godsword Blade which is pretty cool. I also have all the levels I need for another quest. I think 82 smithing is the highest needed for any quest but I'm not 100% sure, but I also do finally unlock Invention, which is awesome. I can also make crystal tools from any crystal tool seeds that I have. I don't know if I have any or not, but um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, pretty happy with uh, finally unlocking Invention, and I'm going to go and start it now and start getting it up. Um, might do some... I don't, I don't really know how I want to start off doing it. Um, but I definitely want to buy a uh, the ability to make Slayer Rings because those are really, really good for enhancing components and stuff like that. Um, I really would like to have that unlocked. And um, as far as everything else goes, I mean, I have a ton of stuff in my bank to, that I could disassemble, like all these maple shield bows, you know, just a bunch of uh, the stuff you tend to want uh, I should have a decent amount of so yeah I made a bunch of these <laughs> adamant warhammers because those were the highest uh, bar thing I could uh, make with the addy bars and there's elk for 3k each so that's you know that's not too bad I could elk them but I might just disassemble them for parts depending on how good they are but yeah pretty happy with that 
finally managed to unlock Invention. It's going to be a nice boost to my total level because the first levels go by pretty quick and it's going to get me in the, a little bit higher up on the rankings, which is pretty sweet. But I'm going to go get it started. Um, definitely want to get going with that so I can get it up to 22 or 23 or whatever so I can make the Rune Ethereal outfit. Um, I think I can only make one full outfit with the amount of uh, pieces I have, but it, it does give you some nice bonuses and uh, it would kind of be a waste to train runecrafting without it since I do have the amount of fragments I need in order to make the first set. So just thought I'd show you guys that. Another 80 plus skill under my belt on this account. Um, again, I am not missing too many of the skills to get 80 plus now. Just thieving, fire making, which I could do. I have it in my bank. Um, and farming and a hunter and summoning, which I could, I could also do summoning. And Hunter is just, you know, a process of just doing it. And I, I just did a bunch of Hunter, so I'm not really feeling like doing it right now. But I almost have Grand Walls unlocked. Um, I just think that uh, I need to do some some task set. I think the uh, the task set of the, in the Elven Lands is, is uh, important to have before doing a lot of Grand Walls. Because I think it prevents you from needing to... Uh, needing to use polya meat in order to um, in order to catch them so that would definitely be useful but um, oh, one of the annoying things about invention uh, on this account is going to be the, getting the divination energy god I forgot about that crap well it's not going to be too bad I don't think um, I just did this tutorial on my main account so I am pretty uh, pretty well versed in knowing what I have to do so I'm not going to really have any issues um, as far as invention as a skill goes I think it's okay it's kinda weird kinda doesn't really fit in with the rest of the game the way skills are trained and stuff but it's honestly not too bad um, it's uh... it's not my favorite skill though but you can basically just train it while training other skills so it's not it's not too terrible um, and on this account where I have a lot of materials already, it should be pretty decent and it should be pretty easy to gain, gather the materials for stuff that I want. Uh, I just don't know how I'm going to train initially because it's going to be kind of uh, kind of hard to get my um, myself some weapons to disassemble early on. I'm not sure what I want to use. Um, it would be good if I could make some polypore staffs. I'm not sure if I have the magic level for that or not, or not the magic level, the farming level. I'm just trying to find this last swap. There it is. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I have the farming level for that or not. I think I could quickly check here while this thing is pointing in my face. I thought I think it was 75. Oh, I have to go harvest my smithing. Harmony Moss Pillar. I actually had one for smithing. I didn't even know, but while I was smithing, it said I, it had finished. Is it 80? It's 80. Okay, I'm definitely going to want to get that up because that would be nice to just use a polypore staff instead of, um, like, anything. I mean, I don't really have anything else that I could use. I mean, I only have one staff of light, which I don't really want to waste, but, um, yeah. There's level 2 invention. Going to continue with this tutorial and then um, once I do finish it I'll probably go do a farm run and try and get my farming to 80 to join along with my other 80 plus skills as well as unlock the ability to make polypore staffs. I have like 12 sticks in my bank so um, those are not an issue. I just I basically need like one or two in order to get myself up to the level where I can use equipment siphons to um, to get the XP from there on if I prefer uh, to not disassemble so shouldn't be too bad getting that and uh, you know it's a nice reason to train up my farming to 80 so yeah other than that you guys thank you all for checking out this clip I thought it was a pretty hype one finally unlocking invention uh, I don't know if I'm going to continue with my 95 prayer uh, goal for this episode uh, I might end the episode off earlier than uh, than I was hoping to because I kind of want to get a new episode for this account out there because it has been a while um, but I'm not sure if I do want to do that or if I want to 
um, stop and uh, you know upload it so I'm not really 100% sure what I want to do but um, either way guess I'll decide in the next couple clips here um, and I'll see you guys in the next one okay guys I just wanted to make what the hell happened here I just wanted to make a little clip here for you to uh, talk about what I am planning to do for the inventions side of things at the very beginning here um, I didn't really have a good way to start out with the invention because up until level I think 27 you cannot um, get experience from just siphoning the equipment and being allowed to keep it uh, I was thinking about maybe using once my items load a crystal staff and just disassembling that but I don't think that's the greatest idea because I do actually use my crystal halberd at abyssal demons and other melee type things from time to time because it is a slash weapon and I don't yet have a god sword on this account so I did not want to actually do that I sort of changed my mind once I had e once I had made the crystal staff I sort of realized that was not a good idea so instead I am going to be making a polypore staff uh, I did a full tree run and full herb run and stuff but I didn't get anywhere near a farm level but I did plant uh, I actually planted seven palm trees which um, I did pay for all of them so that was nice so tomorrow I will easily get 79 farming which will be very nice um, the only problem is I can only plant seven more palm seeds before my papayas run out because they take 15 papaya fruits each so yeah palms are not the greatest and I did plant maples as well uh, oranges are pretty annoying to get I basically just can buy like 20 from the grand tree every day and that's basically all you get unless you plant trees or something so that's kind of annoying uh, I am I know my pouch is decaying and I need to fix it but uh, I just wanted to try and get these done but I guess it decays quicker the more it's decayed so I might just have to go fix it. I'll probably just go change to Lunars and fix it that way so I don't have to go in the wild. But I went around to every store and bought fire runes from them all, which was unfortunately not quite enough to make a polypore staff. But um, I did make a garden pie, and I'm just going to be using that to get 80 farming. So I don't have to wait until I get the actual level in order to make a polypore staff for my uh, invention training. And I will just end up disassembling it when I get it. Um, but yeah I just wish I had gone around and bought runes more often than I did bef because uh, then I, this wouldn't be an issue um, but unfortunately I don't I'm gonna try and start going around and buying fire runes like every day now because polypore stabs would be really really good for me to have for training invention I have 11 sticks in my bank and I can make like like almost 30 polypore staffs with this many spores. It only takes 3k spores so the spores are really not an issue but um yeah I'm also doing a rune spin on my main but I really hope I can get um like a lot of fire runes after a couple of days as long as I stick with it it shouldn't be too bad but um I think you can get maybe like 5 or 6k from shops per day uh and I except I don't want to go to the one that's at mage bank obviously uh, and there's certain other ones that I just don't really feel like going to because they're only like 300 or something but I go to every shop that sells a thousand fire runes and it's not too bad and um, yeah but just for this first day I wanted to get at least one polypore staff so I am just going to craft up the last few fire runes um, they're pretty quick to craft just running back and forth from the dual arena that gets you a decent amount of them at a decent speed and uh, I have like I, I don't know how many times uh, how many fire runes I get per essence, but it's definitely a decent amount. Um, but let's just go ahead and repair my pouches. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys my plan for invention so far. Oh man, this is a lot longer of a dialogue than RS3. Um, but yeah, I wanted to uh, just give you guys my plan for the invention start. Uh, I did get on level 9 at the moment, pretty much just from disassembling things. Uh, I've disassembled a ton of uh, maple shield bows unstrung. Those are what I have a ton of in my bank. I had like 30k of them and I disassembled like 1500. So got a decent amount of the basic parts in here uh, and a ton of junk because those things give a lot of junk. Uh, oh, there's a 
it's fine here might as well pick it yew trees are the worst thing to get payments for because I, I as far as i know this is the only cactus uh, spot in runescape and you get three from it per like i don't know how long it takes to grow but you need 10 for one yew tree so it's pretty ridiculous but um yeah that's basically my plans as i said um i have tons of these in here I, I okay i didn't have quite 30k but i disassembled like 12 or 1500 of them and i've also made one augmenter which is what i'm going to be putting on to my polypore staff obviously uh so that should be nice to uh, get me started with invention i'm not sure if i will end up needing to do two um two items i, I don't know if i'll have to disassemble two items or not in order to get um, 27 but I'm hoping as long as I uh, end up disassembling enough stuff for parts I will only need to actually level up one item and then destroy it but I'll probably just end up doing two polypore staffs if it comes down to it um, because I don't really want to waste any of my other weapons that I have at the moment and you can't do tools until I think level 22 or something like that um, also, the reason I'm doing the staff is because I just got an Ice Strike Worms task. Uh, I have done two Slayer tasks now, or maybe three, I don't remember. But I actually didn't have enough points for the, uh, for the Slayer rings. I thought I would for sure, but I remember now that when it was the double Slayer XP weekend, or maybe it wasn't double, I don't know, the bonus Slayer XP weekend, a couple when I, when I got 99 Slayer, I spent a lot of Slayer points skipping tasks because I wanted to get the best tasks for the best XP so I could get 99 quickly over that weekend. So that is why I did not quite have enough points, but as long as I complete, I think maybe this task and then one more task, I will have enough points to buy the Slayer Rings, which will be very nice. Um, and yeah, it's good to get me started with Invention anyways, starting with Slayer, because this Ice Strike Worms task is going to get me a lot of magic. XP as well as the invention uh, item XP for my weapon. It's probably going to give me pretty damn close to 99 magic. I'm not 100% sure how much XP they give each, but I am only 340k off, so probably going to be getting that quite soon. And once I get 99 magic, I think I might end off the video because it has been so long since I released one. And then in the next video, I will try to make my goal 95 prayer. Um, it is a lot longer of a goal than I thought it would be. Uh, I'm still on the fence if I want to alk my entire Slayer tab or not, but we'll have to wait and see. Alright, I will see you guys in the next clip.